introducing the new Tidewe heated pans. These pans have the ability to keep you warm up to 10 hours off of the battery that they include with the pants. So thank you to Tidewee for keeping me warm. Make sure you guys go check them out. I have a link down in the description. Welcome back everybody to another video. It is opening day of late season here in Pennsylvania. You can either be out with a flintlock, a bow, or where I live, they extended firearm season. So today I have out with me my Winchester Model 94. If my research is correct, this gun is about 60 years old. It is in pretty much perfect condition. Obviously, open sights, it is a top eject. So putting a scope on this ends up being pretty difficult. So my plan is we're gonna try to sneak into a bedding area. Um, if you guys watched all my rifle season videos, most of the deer moved out in front of me and uh, it was such tight windows I couldn't get shots at them. So my plan is to sneak into that area as quietly as possible, set up, and wait for essentially an archery shot. Um, 25, 30 yards is all I'm gonna do with this. I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna risk wounding a deer or anything, so. Get this thing loaded up quick and get into the woods. There's no safety on this gun, so having the hammer not back is essentially the safety. Well, I just got set up in here, and uh, in case you can't tell, it is snowing like crazy. Which, uh, I've always thought that's good for hunting. I swear, deer love to come out and make as many tracks as possible after some snow. It's like 12.30, so we can hunt for like five hours yet. Fingers crossed we at least get to see, see something. Snow's really coming down now. Big meaty flakes falling everywhere. Seen a couple squirrels moving around, so the animals aren't moving. And like I had said before, almost every time I hunted here in regular rifle season, there was deer walking right through at about 15 yards. Oh, my camera just went off. Um, it's about 150 yards back behind me here. And of course, it's a big buck. So it's irrelevant. But it's good to know the deer are up and moving. I just saw the first deer of the day. Just kind of cruising through this thick stuff. I couldn't even get the camera on it. It's probably about 50 yards away from me. So we do have at least 
these wood deer deers. Well, there's about 20 minutes of legal light left. I seen that one deer. I'm gonna try to spot and stalk my way back to the truck just to cover some ground. It's late season here in Pennsylvania, specifically where I live. They extended the firearm season. So I'm out with my deer rifle tonight. Not, I'm not necessarily hunting deer tonight. Uh, we've found that we have a major coyote problem here. So we, we're starting to get pictures of them almost daily. And last night, the neighbor shot a deer and uh, Avery had owned our property. Not mine, but the property that I'm on. And we ended up getting a picture of him dragging the deer out. Uh, but he never, he never called us or got a hold of us to ask like, hey, can I go track my deer? Which is legally what you have to do in the state of Pennsylvania. Obviously, yeah, go get your deer. I'll come down and give you a hand trying to find it. Like, that's that's not the issue. It's he decided to just pursue the deer without coming and asking the landowner or calling us to ask the landowner. That, to me, is it's just rude. I would go and ask him if a deer ran onto his property to go get it before going and getting it. Which we've had happen before. I've had a, a buck that ran clear across the field, into the, the across the road, and we went and asked him right away. What the hell was that? I wasn't expecting that. He never crossed paths with a black cat. But, yeah, so, if I see him tonight, I'm gonna go say something to him. Uh, just, of course we, you know, everyone one on our side would have said, yeah, absolutely, go get your deer. It just seems like it's common courtesy. You should ask. Especially when I get a picture sent of two guys dragging a deer out. the first deer of the evening. Probably about 150, 200 yards away. Well, I've been watching this deer out 
out in front of me for about 20 minutes. I'm convinced it's a earwig. It doesn't have any bumps on its head. But the, the head is so tiny. It just doesn't look like a big 